Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today we're going to work on this beautiful hutch. This is a custom piece, meaning that my client brought it to me with exact details on how she wants it to look in the end. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece and I'm pretty proud to be working on it. First thing we need to do is get the fret work out. We're going to be doing some painting on it and also some stripping and removing of paint on some other places right here. So important to get this out and get the glass out of the way so we don't have to worry about not only reflections, but damaging that glass. Now, of course, prep work. We need to get this guy cleaned up really well. I'm gonna use my strip and clean. She has a very specific look that she wants for the legs and the frame, the door frame of this piece. So we're gonna go ahead and use this stripper and get that original top coat, that original sealer off. This stripper works really well. It doesn't have a very strong smell, which is great. If you apply it, you wanna just put it on there pretty thick, cover it up with some cellophane, wait about 10 minutes and then when I went back in with this wire brush it worked really well to even to get in those little deep crevices I find it easier to work in small sections so I'm just gonna go section by section down these legs so that I can make sure that I get to it before it has time to dry again. Same with the door frame. This piece was originally just stained and then sealed. So we're not gonna see too dramatic of a change when we take the sealer off, but we are going to be able to redo what was done originally in a different look. I love the way these legs look just the way they are. If it was mine, I would keep them just like this. I'm going to go ahead and do what my client wants, of course. Next time I do a piece like this, I have a feeling I'll be stripping and doing something different. I'm going to start doing some taping in preparation for paint. I want to really make sure that I do not get paint, especially on those raw legs and in some places where I don't want it. So proper prep work is important. these ornamental carvings to have a black tone inside so we're gonna go ahead and apply some little black dress and I'm just gonna rub it back on those high spaces right away so that it only sits in the low spaces she wanted the entire piece covered in the lightest baby pink so petticoat pink is the perfect one for that we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's gonna take me two coats. I'm putting them on pretty darn thin because this clay-based chalk paint is pretty thick. If I go in full heavy-handed, there will be a lot of texture. We want it nice and smooth. These carvings here we want to cover them but we don't we're gonna try really hard not to get the paint deep down in those black spaces where we just put the black so I'm just gonna do almost like a dusting of thin layers of paint over it so that I don't get my bristles down in the cracks
right, looks like coat number two is gonna do the trick. For coat number two on these larger areas, I'm going to use my misting bottle. Just give it a nice mist and then start applying the paint again to make that clay super smooth. Now it's time to start distressing. She wants the entire piece distressed all the way around. I'm going to sand these carvings a bit more and see if I can get a little bit more of that black to come through. Now for these legs, we're going to use our dark wax by DIY. I'm gonna go in and it's gonna stain this raw wood for me. She sent me a picture of some nightstands that she bought for me a couple years ago. Wanted me to match the color on the top and sure enough, I had used dark wax. So this is gonna match them up just perfect for her. I'm gonna go in with DIY's clear wax to seal up this fretwork. I didn't film myself painting it because I had made a mistake and done it backwards and then I had to fix it and strip all the paint back off and now I'm gonna paint it. <laughs> then I painted it again. But just so you know, she wanted a nice corally light pink. So I went in with petticoat pink and put in a little bit of cowgirl coral and gave her a peachy pink. DIY clear wax gives you just such a soft, soft finish for this piece in particularly, well, a lot of the pieces, but this one for sure. Wax is the way to go to give it that super soft feel on top of that beautiful light pink. After your wax is dry, you wanna go back in with a lint-free cloth and just buff it up so that wax will just shine for you. So here we are, guys. What do you think of this look? I think she did great picking out exactly what she wanted. I hope she loves it as much as I do. Tell me what you guys think of it, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do it now. If you're interested in any of the products that I use in this video, you can find them on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com. I'll put links for the stripper in the comments below. Also, you guys are awesome. And remember, only you can make it happen. See you next time.